In today's video, I have essentially an hour long video of every tip for every single map in the game for you guys. I'm going to have every single map time stamped. So if you want to skip around to the certain map you're stuck with, these are some really good tips that will help your KD, will help your map knowledge, will help everything. So make sure you share with a friend if you want your friends to see it, but make sure you drop a follow, subscribe, and thank you for 50k. Let's get into it. Start doing this on Chalet and your KD will go crazy. Whenever you're playing downstairs, place in a zombie barricade right here. And what this will do is it will give you a one-way angle onto the attacker because the attacker cannot see you while you can completely see their legs. The defender sees you right here. I can't even see the defender. I can't see the defender. I can't see the defender. You're cooked. Like literally you could see them from all over and they're right there. So whenever you're defending downstairs, this main wall is very important because they'll have to open it up and use this long angle. Instead of kidding it like this, come upstairs and shoot this little dresser out right here and throw your cage into here. This will completely cade the wall and you don't have to worry about a twitch or anyone destroying it. Whenever the friends are playing this bomb site, they love to sit right on this half wall. Just start doing this. Come downstairs and it's right next to this middle light. Cook a grenade and throw it right about here. This one is actually a free kill. Anytime you're downstairs, break this right here and only make a shotgun hole right there. And you can sit up top here and watch if somebody comes down the stairs. You can make it a little bit bigger if you want to. But this is a really good spot to be able to watch. And all you do is vault up and you can see once I come down. As you can see, here are my bullets. Get a free kill. Now this one you might know from Coconut Bra, but take a fuse charge and place it right next to all of these little pillars right here. Not only does it make a ton of vertical for you to use as an attacker, but you can also actually get like a free kill with this thing too. Look where these land. Literally things will kill you. It's, it's insane. You can kill anybody on this pillar. You can kill anyone back here on the shield. It's insane. A lot of people like to use this shield right here to contest this door and the people coming to the breach. Knock on out this right here and you can use this as another way to shoot them because now this gives you one way right here, one way right here, and another way right here, which then makes it harder for the attacker to know where to shoot at. Anytime you're attacking this top floor, it's very common for defenders to either sit right here or right in this corner right here. Come downstairs and cook a grenade and just throw it right here. It's literally a free kill every time. And do the same thing for literally right here, you'll kill them as well. If you're defending downstairs, stop making this rotate. This rotate allows the defender to come down the stairs and completely see into that bomb site. Make this rotate instead. Not only does it not help the attackers, but it also helps you because you can get a really good angle onto the blue stairs from here. If you want a really good drone to watch main lobby during prep phase or just later on in the round, put it underneath this. With this drone, you can see if, if anybody's going to go up the stairs, you can see their legs. You can see if anybody comes up from basement and you can see if anybody goes up those top stairs as well. And it's really hard for any defender to really even see. Whenever you're defending up here, a lot of attackers like to use this door. My favorite angle to use is either right here inside the closet to watch this or even further back here to watch this. It's a really good angle and it's going to be hard for them to hit you. I'm sure a lot of you know, but what you can do is shoot out this wine bottle right here and you get an angle all the way into the hallway. And it's an easy way to contest this whenever they're coming from that back garage. These are my bullets. You can see them right when they come around here. It's that angle right there. Anytime I'm defending the basement bomb site, I love to come to the third floor and make a little shotgun hole or a shoot hole right here. It's very common for the attackers to take control of trench and walk up these stairs. So I just like to hold this angle and you can see them all the way onto the staircase. These are my bullet holes down here. And that's the angle I'm talking about. Anytime you're defending upstairs, throw your Cade Claw on top of this and break this fan, and then throw your second Cade Claw out here. Now you don't need to reinforce these two walls. Sometimes you can have a line in the wall, it's up to you. But this will automatically Cade both walls and if they come from below, they're not gonna be able to see it. This is one of my favorite strats to do when attacking downstairs. Now obviously this will be reinforced, but as Mav, make a line in the wall. Then come help your team push Wine Cellar and go for this backside over here. Now after they have opened the wall and applied pressure, rotate back to the main wall. As they're opening that up and you come back over here, you can repel on here and you can actually see all the way into sight. Now obviously be careful for somebody trying to kill you off here, but you can see anybody that's on the actual pillar and while they're all focused on the back, you can cut off all rotations. This works in Champion ELO, I do it all the time. Anytime the bomb site is either downstairs or upstairs, if you're going to take control of Trophy, start doing this. Hold an angle like this and just see if you could see anyone rotating in. A lot of people like to rotate around and you can get yourself a free pick. Same goes for defenders. I actually sit here a decent amount and what I'll do is I'll just wait and see if anyone rotates or tries to check this and get a free kill on them. Start doing this on border and your KD will go crazy. If you're defending upstairs, it's very common for the attackers to come into this break room. Using your deagle, come downstairs into the detention room and throw your Valcam up here. Now this gives you a really good hidden camera 
inside of security room. And it's hard for them to see, especially if they're over here, because it kind of lines up with the bar, depending on how high you throw it. It's very common for the attackers to go for this wall. So come downstairs as Valk, and what you can do is whenever they're out there, you can get a call from your teammate or just listen. Chuck a C4 right through this hole. It'll wind up landing all the way right here and kill anybody that's outside here or playing over here on this wall. So this spot is for if you're defending in archives. This one's very simple. Come into fountain and if you want to watch this window, you can actually watch it from all the way back here. And once they stand in front of the window as well and they go to vault in, their head will be even bigger and you can get a free kill. Those are my bullets out there. Literally, it goes all the way to out here, but it's really meant for when they're kind of right here and they're about to vault in, you can get a free kill on them. Whenever I'm defending downstairs, I love to kind of sit in the supply room because I can contest the outside main door from this window. And I can also do this. You can either shoot this or make a punch hole. And what you can do is you can go like this and you can get a really good angle onto the top metal stairs and on that door. So you can contest this outside here while being able to peek and watch the main door or the top main door of metal. If you're attacking the upstairs bomb site, it's very common for defenders to sit behind the half wall right here or with a shield right here. All you have to do is break this window, look right here that's behind the half wall and cook a grenade. And all you do is just chuck that and you get a free kill on anyone behind half wall. It bounced a little bit there, but it should really just be like right over here. And for anybody that's going to be playing on that shield that I was talking about, all you have to do is cook a grenade and throw it right here. I made a nice little hole for you so you can see it. And you get a free kill on anybody on that little shield right there. It's easy. Whenever you're attacking the top floor, it's very common you take control of security room. And it's also common that most of the time you vault up on top of here to check if anyone's in the hallway or it's just chill up here. Something that you can do is you can actually, when you're sitting up here, shoot through this wall and get an angle onto the actual door. This is one that I use quite frequently. If I'm sitting up here, what you can actually do is see all the way into here. And it's just a free way to hold this as well as you can see if anybody comes up the stairway as well. This sees all the way into here as well. So if anyone's crossing in, they'll get cooked. Whenever I'm droning upstairs and I want to go for an office take, I love to use my drone. Send it on top of this TV. You're going to do some drone parkour here. On top of this TV, on top of this clock, and then on top of this. And it allows you to really get a really good angle with your drone all the way up here. You can have this drone sit in the hallway to watch the hallway if you want. You can use this drone to watch into office. You can really do whatever you want. This one's really simple, and I'm sure a lot of you know this, but just to let you know, this still works in Champion Elo. Vault on top of this and make a little hole right here, and you can actually see all the way outside right there. As you see, there's some of my shots, and there's some more of my shots. You can literally see all the way out here. It's great. Let's pretend that I'm an attacker. A great way to contest into the B-bomb site is vaulting up on top of this little bus and using this to look inside the site. You can see if anybody's sitting in that far back corner or if anybody's just sitting in here as well close to the window whenever you're attacking the top floor i always love to come up on this rappel and shoot through this barricade and shoot through this wall you can actually use this to cut off rotation and watch anybody going in between half wall sandwich and just rotating as you see these are all my bullets from that rappel do this on bank your kd will go crazy Whenever you're defending down here as well, make sure you always make a hole right here. Even if it's something as little as this, it's still really good because it allows you to see the attacker's ankles as they come down the steps so they can't just walk down. The bullet holes are right here and you can see all over here. And when you're up here, you literally can't even see that. Like it's a complete one way angle. You'll light up their feet. It's pretty crazy. Now it's very common for the attackers to push in through electrical. So I love to use this angle right here. Now with this angle, it allows you to see the door and it's very hard for the attackers to even see you. I at least use this like once a game. It's a very, very good spot and I get a kill with it all the time. There are the bullet holes right there and the angle is like literally like right in between those two books right there. Anytime you're defending the downstairs bomb sites, there's like two angles I really like to use. The first one is on this B bomb chassis. I can kind of hold this angle and see into the server. And if they come in, I can kind of swing out and kill them. But it's really good to kind of get a pixel onto the server. The second one is right here. If you crash next to this little bin right here and look in between these two pieces right here, you can see if they actually enter in. And if you really want to get crazy and have a 1.5 times, you can come right here and you can literally get a pixel on this and hold them from all the way back here. I think this is unnecessary, but if you want to, go for it. Whenever you're defending downstairs, use these three Valcams. Throw one right here. We got this TV and throw it right here. And throw your other Valcam right here. This one allows you to see into server. This one allows you to contest A. While still being hidden, it kind of hides inside the actual lip up here. And this one allows you to see inside of garage while not being able to be shot out. As you can see me right there, can't shoot it out at all because this is bulletproof. So it's a really good camera to actually use. Whenever you're playing this top floor bomb site, do this with a zombie. Throw an a zombie right here. 
Now what this would do is allow you to play on this little couch and be able to contest the half wall if there's a line in it without being shot through the soft wall and not having to waste a reinforcement for this. Come into this corner right here, take your zombie and throw it at the middle of this chair. What this does is it makes it so that way you can rotate in and out of sight without being shot from this window. I can safely come back in without being shot from any of the windows. Take your other zombies and do this. Throw one right here and throw one right here. Now you cannot be seen from this window either. Just put another one right here and it will completely block us off as well. Whenever you're defending top floor, this is a main point of rotation, this long hallway. Bring Habana and sit on this window. Now your main goal is you're gonna have your teammates take control of main lobby and what you can do is you can Habana off this wall. By doing this, it allows you to kind of cut off this entire long hallway, the top stairs, the elevator, the conference room door, and the stock room door. And it's really good to help your teammates then only have to worry about the top of Trump and Banana as well as anybody downstairs. Anytime I'm attacking the top floor, I love to send my drone right here. Jump onto this little stack of files right here and then jump onto this lamp up here. And I like to leave this down here so I can see if anybody's gonna try and see four right here when we enter in, as well as good to just watch from below. Another good cam for main lobby is send your drone to this little metal box over here. Jump up the metal box, and you can actually just make that jump from right there onto here. Now from here, you can watch the entire main lobby as well as watch the top floor and this whole banana call out area and all the windows. It's just a really good drone. Anytime I'm attacking the top floor bomb site, I love to do this. Take control of stock room and once you have full control of it, what I love to do is I love to prone right here and look into the janitor closet through this drone hole. It's very, very common for people to be rotating in and out of the rotate or just contesting and sitting inside janitor. So I get a free kill doing this all the time. This one you can use on attack or defense. Whenever I enter into staff, I can hold this angle or I can hold this angle and my teammates get the hatch. It's good for that as well. You can kind of watch if, if anybody comes from main lobby or up the main stairs or you know it's really up to you however you want to hold it but this works on defense too whenever i'm defending this top bomb site i love to do this i always love to reinforce this wall and make just a little hole right here so that way either once they come in or later on in the round i can stand on top of this desk and contest into the hallway as well as into the stock room it's just a good nice angle to use whenever i first spawn in if i'm attacking the top floor repel up to this and what you can do if they're upstairs you do this right away right when the round starts you can catch people off guard while they're still kind of trying to get together and figure out where they're going to go as well as even if they're downstairs attacking or defending archives, you can see the archives door right there. So you can see anyone behind the desk as well. It's a really good angle. Whenever you're defending downstairs, if you want to take a cap can and place them right here. This is by far my favorite cap can spot on this map. Same with this one right here. Whenever you're defending this bomb site, it's very common for defenders to open the wall and plant right here. Take Tachanka, make a line on this wall right here. And all you have to do is aim the Tachanka right at that little circle this entire thing is completely on fire and they can't plant there. You literally have 20 of these things so you can continue to do this and stall off time and waste a lot of time. You can also get that same effect if you don't want to be in the hallway and just shoot them like this. Either way, just bring a Tachanka on this bomb site. You're going to do very well and waste a lot of time. Start doing this on coastline and your KD will go crazy. Whenever you're attacking the top floor like Billard side, what I love to do is I love to play somebody with nades, especially Yana, and I'll cook a grenade and I'll throw it through this drone hole. Now when you do that, what that will do is that will kill anybody on the common vase spot. This spot's very common for people to sit, they might even sit here with a shield. Now the next spot is going to be if you're defending kitchen. Now what you're going to do as a defender is you're simply going to lay down right here and hold this angle at the start of the round and you're going to be able to catch people off guard outside and get a free kill. I'm going to show you clips on the screen right now. You're going to see me get a free kill with it. I do it all the time. And you may be saying, well, no one in high elo is going to do that. I'm a controller PC and console champion. And I do this all the time. Now, if you have a drone on you, don't do that. Because as an attacker, what you can do to counter this is you can quickly go like this and you can peek from out here. But as a defender, you can see all the way to this Lambo. So they don't even got to peek that. They can just walk over to the main lobby door and you can get a free kill. It's actually crazy. Now, the next spot is going to be if you're attacking the kitchen bomb site. What I love to do is I love to walk up here and stand up on this. Now, not only can you get a really good angle on this, but a lot of times people will contest this, but what you can do very easily is you can shoot right here, right? If you shoot right here, what this will do is will open up all the way into kegs. Now, back in the corner of kegs, you can kill anybody that's sitting back here. As you see the bullet holes right here, you can literally see anybody. It's, I love doing this, I do it every time. If you're ever attacking upstairs and you need to clear out somebody from behind the aqua bar, which is very common, because people love to sit there with ADSs, there's no problem with that. All you have to do is just come downstairs, cook a grenade, and throw it right at this corner. 
it will immediately get a free kill and you'll kill the guy in that corner and it's free especially with this one because there's a shelf right here and even if it lands on the shelf you do a lot of damage to them if you're ever defending the kitchen just start doing this come up in the penthouse and shoot a hole in the floor and you can actually shoot into this wall too and you can get an angle on the door now this is actually very very easy to get free kills like i actually do this so often now yes people will take vertical but as the roamer you're gonna be sitting up here anyway so i always love to just sit here and have this just in case so i can still kind of help my teammates if they either fall off of top control or if they just never take it anytime you're attacking the billard's bomb site there obviously will be a bomb right here and the defenders love to sit here on the bomb chassis whenever it's normally here and watch into aqua this is a very solid angle even i hold it sometimes but if there's somebody on this bomb site and somebody's downstairs already just start doing this just cook a grenade and aim it right in between these two squares you'll get yourself a free kill and you'll kill anybody that was sitting on top of the bomb chassis this is it's literally right there and the same thing goes for if you're in like the back of it if, like, if they're just sitting in this corner on like an echo or anything on like a shield or anything you can nade right here and get a free kill this that's where the bomb chassis would be this will kill anybody that was on the bomb chassis. I actually do this fairly often and I get a decent amount of kills because this is where people love to hold. Start doing this on Clubhouse and your KD will go crazy. If you're ever defending downstairs, you know it's a common spot for the attackers to take control of garage. You can actually take your shotgun and shotgun out this spot right here. Have your teammate do it or you do it with Frost or whoever you want. Now, normally I wouldn't really use Frost because I'm not going to run with Frost, but I'll usually take like Warden or anybody with a 1.5 times. And what I'll do is I'll come over to this angle and you can actually get a angle onto the garage door. I promise you, no one is going to be looking for this, but this is a very common spot for people to enter in from. And you could just shotgun people out this way and get a free kill. There's literally the garage door. I promise you, they're going to take garage control and they're not going to join you out because who the hell is looking for this? If you ever see your enemy playing a mirror in bathroom, just start doing this. Just come downstairs. You can come through strip club if you want or come from anywhere and just cook a grenade and throw it right here next to this pipe. What this will do is it will give you a free kill on anybody that's on. That will kill them immediately. See, that's the wall where their mirror would be. You'll get a free kill. Just start doing that. I'm telling you, it's free. If you're defending downstairs in basement in Arsenal, what you can do as a defender is you can sit right here and hold this angle on this window. This is a very common window for an attacker to push if they want to get map control. And with this angle, you can actually see them as their mid vault and they're not going to be able to shoot you and you get like a free kill every time. Now, because I know about this trick, what I always do is I always go like this and repel upside down because you'll be able to see them before they can see you because they can't really see you if your head's peeking up here like this. It's only if you're standing and you're vaulting in. So you can catch anybody off guard if you're just repelling upside down. Even if you go like this far back, you can see all the way back into there. Now, a lot of you might know this already, but I'm going to put this in anyway. A lot of defenders love to sit on this green box right here. If they do, just start doing this. Come down here and cook a grenade and throw it right around here and you'll kill anyone that is on the box right there. Free kill. That's the green box and they're dead. Anytime that you're playing downstairs in church, destroy these chairs, sit right here, and you can actually get a good angle onto anybody coming down the staircase. You'll see the tip of the head before they see you, and you'll be able to get a free kill on anybody on the staircase, and you don't have to contest it from this angle over here. If you ever find yourself playing Mira on bathroom of gym bedroom, what I love to do is I love to shotgun out this hole right here and look through the drone hole. I lay prone back here and you can actually see anybody that's outside on the uh, hot tub deck. And the further you go back, the further you can see. I use this to light up the feet of the enemy and even kill them sometimes. It's just a really good way to kind of stop them and make sure they're very cautious of it and just weaken them up. Like you, you will get a free kill with this. And if you don't, you will light up their toes because you can see anybody that enters into stock room right here. They're cooked. Now it's just a spawn kill I love to do. If you come right here on the staircase, you can actually see somebody's legs before they could even see you. So it's a nice free kill if you want to go for a spawn peek. A really good drone spot if you're going to be pushing down into the blue utility room is I love to come from oil pit, bring it onto this little box right here, jump up on this box right here, and you can even jump right to here. And what this will do is it will give you a great spot to leave your drone if you want to contest this. You can do this in the prep phase, you can do this middle of the round, but you can see a lot from up here and your drone is pretty hidden. Anytime you're defending inside of garage, what I love to do is I always love to come over here and just shoot through here. What this will do is if anybody's inside lounge, that actually shoots that lounge door right there. So if you want to, you could even open this angle right here and you can contest the lounge door that leads into the stock room with the hatch. Now, obviously this could be open as well and I wouldn't recommend it if this is open, but before they open this up, a lot of times people will take control of stock room and this is an easy way to contest this. Start doing this in the new consulate, your KD will go crazy. Try doing this spawn kill. Come upstairs, it doesn't matter what site you're defending. Come into catering, jump on this table, come to this corner right here, move to the right till you're lifted up in the air and run onto this. Now, once you are up here, what you're going to do is take an impact or a shotgun or whatever you want to do and throw it at this corner. Now, when you do that, you're going to get an angle right here. 
you see this angle right here that is right here next to one of the main spawns so they come around this corner and you are gonna fry them now either you can impact it out or shotgun it out either way it doesn't look crazy like i don't see anyone when i look right here however you can get a full angle onto them and without being detected as well whenever you're defending downstairs if you want to come off the top ropes like you're in wwe start doing this take an azami and throw it on this horizontal part underneath the silver piece now by doing this you're gonna get a vault animation make sure you impact this right here and vault over and fry anyone on the other side the attackers are going to be on the other side quite literally just throw that and get a free kill on anyone over there and if you want to throw a pokeball at him or impact him whatever you want to call it vault over yeet and he's cooked do that twice oh he's definitely dead but it's crazy whenever you're attacking the garage site start doing this destroy the toolbox come next to this tire and if you're lined up with the tire and you look at the bottom of it you're gonna get a vault animation vault up here and from here it's very simple run like this run like this and run like this now obviously this will be reinforced right here but this top part will not be so everything above this wooden frame will not be reinforced and you can see all the way into the hallway you could see anyone in here and if you walk over here you can actually stand up and you can really see anybody on the rotate you can see anybody here anybody here it's actually insane these two i got from coconut bra though so credit all goes to him when you're defending the top floor use these three valcams come into piano and destroy the floor right here and throw your valcam there this valcam will be underneath this couch and you can see the window you can see that room you can see into there and you can watch all in here and this is pretty hidden as well you can't even really see it at all because it's completely underneath the actual couch come by the main lobby door into the lounge and destroy the floor and throw your cam right here. This cam is another hidden cam. As you can see, you can't see it. However, I can completely see all in here as well as this hallway. And I can see myself right there. And I literally cannot see it as the attacker because it is underneath this dresser. The last one's optional, but I like to come by these yellow stairs and throw it into this plant. That hides it pretty well. And I can use this one for really a lot of audio and just see if anybody's there. And if I need a red ping, I can. Now, whenever you're defending downstairs, obviously you can make a hole on the top and you could throw impacts right here. And basically what it will do is it will impact trick or destroy any thermite or ace on the wall. But you can also come into piano and shotgun out this top floor and you can actually get a sight onto anybody before they even try and thermite the wall or if they just are walking out there. As you can see, that's literally outside. There's the reinforcement and that's where the attackers would be. And if you come to the top floor, you could even shotgun out the corner of this hatch right here. And you can watch this entire main wall from all the way up here like an absolute freak. Or just impact right here and you can watch all this too. I don't really think you need to do all this, but if you want to, go for it. Whenever you're defending the bottom floor piano site, do this. Break the left side of this plant. Break this right here. Now sprint up here. Now when you're up here, you're going to be able to destroy these plants right here. And what this would do is it will give you an angle onto the window. And if you come over to this plant over here, it will raise you up even higher. And you could see into the hallway all over here and get a good angle onto anybody coming down the stairs or in the area. Anytime you're defending garage, normally you want to have a rotate right over here. However, if you come to this rotate, you can be seen to this garage. So take your zombie and throw it like this. Then take another zombie and throw it like this. Now what this will do is it will allow you to rotate in between both sites without having to worry about this wall when it gets opened up. Whenever you're defending the garage, come over to the spiral stairway right here and throw an Azami pretty high up here like this. Then take another Azami and throw it like this. Now when you do this, it allows you to get a really good angle onto the spiral stairs and it's a good one-way angle. You can even prone if you want to see more of it, all while still being able to rotate and crouch in between this. But as you can see, there's the bullet holes right there. And as an attacker, you literally can't even see them. And if they destroy this, it's good for a sound cue. You'll be able to hear it. You can block stuff completely if you want. Like if you literally wanted to, you could just block this whole damn thing off. But it's really up to you. I, I still like to use this to rotate, but also have a good angle on it like that. Start doing this on cafe and your KD will go crazy. Whenever you're defending downstairs in kitchen, stand up on top of this thing and just shoot a hole. And just you're able to watch all the way into like prep side just from sitting up here. And it's like an easy angle to just hold on anybody coming in. Another great angle if you're playing inside coat check or in this hallway and you want to hold it is vault up on top of here and just you're able to watch the door from back here. I use this one all the time. These two are very simple. Some of you may know them, but I just want to make sure. Anytime you're defending the top stairs bomb site, vault on top of this little cocktail bar and make a hole right here. And what you can do is you can actually see all the way in to cigar shop. Literally, that's the bullet holes. You can see it from all the way right there. Anytime you're attacking this as well, make sure you send your drone in right away before they start taking control of bakery. 
and throw your drone right on top of this little fire extinguisher and vault it all the way up. And what you can do with this one is you can have this entire way with your drone as well as be able to sit it up here and you can see anybody that's behind the bakery, anybody that comes in, it's a really good spot. Hey, yo, anytime that you're attacking bakery, what I love to do is vault on top of this car right here and you can look and see anybody that's playing behind that cupcake shelf and you'll kill them. Anytime the bomb site is upstairs, it's very common for defenders to sit right here or right over here. Whenever they're over there in that corner, what you can do is come down below with a grenade, cook it right here and just chuck that bitch and you'll get a free kill. Also, if you struggle with cooking nades, I just posted a video yesterday Go check it out. It's how to perfect nades. Now, whenever they want to sit right over here and throw it right here and get yourself a free kill. Anytime you're defending the top floor, take Oryx and start doing this. Oryx dash out this entire bar side right here where it opens up everything. Then after you Oryx that out, Oryx this out right here. This is a common spot for the defenders to plant as well as so is this. But when you do this, it makes it a lot harder for them to try and plant. Another great angle that you can hold if you're defending upstairs is obviously this will be reinforced, but come into the freezer and hold an angle like this. I love to shoot out the top part and hold like a tight angle back here. And what you could do is you could see anybody that walks in. So if they were to walk in and go this way, they'd be smoked. There's the bullet holes. If they were to drop this hatch, they'd be smoked. Another spot for when you're upstairs is this angle right here. You'd be surprised how many kills I actually get with this, but nobody looks for right in between these two cocktail pillars and it shoots all the way back into around the hatch drop area. All you do is just make an impact here and reinforce this wall and you get a free kill if they walk over here. That is the angle right there. You will see them once they drop and walk in this area, get a free kill. Anytime you're attacking the upstairs bomb site, I always love to just vault on top of here and see if I can get an angle into anybody that's walking in the hallway. You can either do it like this or quickly repel upside down, punch this and see if you can see anybody in the hallway. Anytime you're roaming above kitchen, make sure you have a hole here so you can watch the walk-in as well as a hole here because you can see all the way into coat check door and the last place people are going to check is looking up when they come out of coat check. Another really good drone spot is on top of this shelf over here. You can throw yourself all the way into one of these and you'd be surprised how many people don't look up here. Anytime I'm downstairs and I'm roaming anywhere, I love to come into reading room and just sit on top of here. Just a nice little rat spot that you can use and you'll catch people off guard. Punch holes as well can be really helpful as well if you sit back here and just punch through here and you can see once they drop or come around the corner. Same with this one that's very common that shoots right over to that door. Just be careful with these because whenever I see a punch hole, I shoot right through it and you'll get a free kill. But if you could be quicker than they can see you, you get a free kill. Start doing this on canal. Your KD will go crazy. This is what you're going to do, okay? So anytime you are attacking the downstairs bomb site, this is the first one I'm gonna show you. You're going to sit here and make sure your bot teammate does not open up this window. You're gonna get here before they do. And you're gonna stand on top of this crate and you're gonna shoot the top left of this out. What this will do is it will allow you to get anyone that crosses into that hallway. Anytime you're attacking this site, start doing this, okay? You see this spot right here. A lot of people sit on the bomb chassis, so that way they can contest the main breach. You are going to come downstairs and you're going to play somebody with nades. You're going to come right here. You're going to cook a grenade and you are going to get a free kill. That will kill anybody that's on the bomb chassis that is right here. Free kills, okay? As a defender, if you're playing upstairs, the thing that I love to do is I come right here and I make a punch hole here, here, and here. And then I stand up and I do the same exact thing for each level. Now what this will do is this will confuse the living shit out of the enemy. Now what you're going to do, you're going to only use the bottom ones. Anytime anyone contests this bridge, you're going to get a free kill. Watch this on stream right here. This is where I, I think I got two from this angle. They're not going to always look at this. There's way too much for them to look at as well as there's so many holes. They're going to have no idea which one to shoot at. Free kills. If you are a defender and you are holding down printer side and they are contesting this window, let them hop in. Do not peek them, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to come right here. And when they hop in, they cannot see you. This is a one-sided angle. So you're going to get a free kill on them, and you're going to be able to shoot them before they see you. Let me just show you. As an attacker, when you hop in and you make this vault, you're dead. Like, as you've seen, I could, I'm like seeing this. You, they can see your whole body, but like the second you hop in and you're staring at the side of a damn vending machine. If you want to clear somebody out of this corner, which is a very common spot for people to sit in, anytime you apply any pressure in this hallway, this is where people sit. They want to hold this angle or they plant a mirror right here. Just start doing this. Come into kitchen and cook a grenade. You're going to throw it right around here and you're going to cook it. And there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. It kills anybody that is holding that angle. 
free kills. Anytime you're defending green stairs and somebody is pushing this bottom doorway for some goddamn reason that I don't know because I get a kill off it every time, sit up here and just let them push in. They cannot contest you from this angle. This is another one-sided angle. You're going to see their entire legs before they even see you. I come up right here. They can see you. 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 Like, and you can't even see them if they're holding an angle right here. It's a free kill. If somebody's playing behind this locker, just start doing this. You should open this window, take Zofia or Ash, and shoot a Zofia or Ash charge in there, and you can completely see behind the locker without having to take complete vertical, and they're not going to be able to contest you from up here. You can literally see in the locker, you can see in the corner, you can see everything. And yes, you could just take Sledge, but this is so much easier in terms of you not getting C4. Do this on Nighthaven Labs, your KD will go crazy. So first what you're going to do is you're going to shoot out these TVs. Then you're going to take your Azami and throw it about right here. Then you're going to vault on top of this and shoot out this. Now when you vault up here, you're going to get this vault animation. Break that thing. And now you are perfectly hidden up here. Now, this will be really good as long as you can cade this off or make sure that you do not open this wall. But if they do not get this wall open, you are perfectly set, bro. No, even if someone drones out, who's looking up here, bro? No one. You're frying anyone. Your best bet is taking a mute and sitting up here with a shotgun and just holding off this door, bro. Bro, low key, even if the wall's open, if you if you go like this, I feel like somebody still would not think that somebody's up here, bro. Look at this. Shout out to the Dangleberries for this one, though, because she showed me this. Anytime you're attacking this bomb site, it's very common for defenders to play inside rafters. Come outside and line yourself up with this pillar right here. Line up your drone with this right here. And what this does is it allows your drone to actually watch inside of rafters and see all of this right here. And you cannot even destroy this drone either. As well as you can also red ping with this drone too. The entire time you can keep red pinging and they can't even do anything about it. Anytime you're defending this top floor bomb site, it's very common for defenders to sit right here on this little pillar. Now I shot this out so it's easier for you to see. It's right next to this light. Come down here and cook a grenade like this. And boom, that's anybody on the pillar gone. Now, if you don't want to go from below, you can do one of two things. This will be reinforced, but the top part will not be. Shooting is that will allow you to nade this corner right here. Now, this will nade anybody out of this area over here. But you can also get the guy on pillar by just doing this. If they're sitting on this pillar right here, this will hit them, especially if you don't cook it as long and you just let it roll. They're, they're either going to try and sprint away or cook it is really up to you. Whenever you're defending downstairs, it's very common for attackers to take control of these stairs and come down. Throw the echo drone right, right here. Doing this, it will allow you to completely watch these stairs and still echo drone them whenever you please. There's the echo drone. There's a 0% chance anyone in their life is looking up there for any reason. You're going to never lose this one. And you could still echo them if you want to. As you can see, got echo droned. No one's going to look up there. Like, bro, like, what? look at that thing. Whenever you're defending this bomb site, like I mentioned, this wall is very common to push. And normally you're going to have some sort of impact hole right here. What you can do is you can come to this side right here, walk up on top of this thing right here, and it will levitate you up like this. And you can actually see right over this right here and see the top of their bodies whenever they try and enter in. This will allow you to even crouch like this, and whenever they're going to come in, you stand up and just fry anybody that's on the wall. And it's just, they're not going to expect you to just be up here and not see your little hand up here. Anytime you're defending this room right here, make sure you always at least make a little bit of a hole right here. Now you're gonna need somebody with impacts, but whenever anyone tries to ace this or thermite this, just always impact trick this. Impact tricking, throwing it right there, just destroys any thermite or ace on this wall. Now, whenever you're defending this bottom bomb site, it's very common for attackers to push this wall. And whenever you're attacking this bomb site, it's very common for defenders to have some sort of bandit, mute, or kate on it. Now, as a defender, I love to come up top here and impact this. For example, I'm gonna use Buck. Doing this, I can contest this entire wall and make them need a room clear me. And same with as an attacker, I love to contest up top and try and get any bandits off here. If you're defending, you'll make the attackers have to push you. And if you're an attacker, you can then come up here and take anything off this wall. Now, if you're attacking and you don't want to deal with the roamer down there, you can literally buck open this garage right here and just come right here. And you could shoot both from up top here. So this floor and this floor. For example, let's see, you can literally do it from all the way up here. But this allows you to see it from the top second floor through another floor. So that way you cannot be contested, see forward, or anything of that sort. And the same goes for the defenders. If you want to be a rat and impact one right there and one up here, you can literally watch the wall from the fucking top, top floor. It's, it's pretty crazy, but it works. 
Anytime you're defending this top bomb site in higher elo, it's very common for attackers to take control of this wall. Like they're open it, thermite it, ace it, whatever it may be. So instead of just cading it like this, make a hole in the floor and take a cade like this and throw it right here. Now, when you throw it right there, what it will do is it will make this entire wall cated. The attackers cannot EMP it or Cali it. It just will not work. If you come down here, you could see it on the light right there. And this will allow it because of the concrete to not be EMP'd thatchered or tallied or anything it's crazy do this on oregon and your kd will go crazy so you see all this stuff right here destroy it now when you do all this you're gonna get a vault animation now to make this actually useful bring a mute and mute everything off you can hold this door with a shotgun or just bring somebody with a 1.5 times and you can watch this window from all the way up here. Anytime you're defending downstairs and the rare chance that Kate is not banned, start doing this. Come over to this door and throw the actual Kate charge right about there. I promise you no one's going to see that because why would they be looking for a Kate there? This will then Kate this wall and they will literally not be able to get this wall open because who the hell is looking for a Kate outside? Anytime you're going to be a roamer and you're defending downstairs, start doing this. Get somebody with a bailiff or anything to make a hole in the wall and come up into attic. You can make a hole in the floor of the attic and also make a hole in this wall. And what this would do is it will allow you to see all the way onto the stairs, which is very common for the attackers to push. Now, the only reason I even know about this is because Macy J killed me doing this. And I was like, where did I just die from? It's really good to just have open because you can always come back and check it. It's a really good spot. It's also really hard to even see from down here, bro. This is what it looks like. The bullet holes are all the way over here, bro. You can see them. It's, it's so crazy. When you're playing the upstairs bombsite, take an Azami and throw it about right here. This now gives you the ability to kind of walk around a little bit more without being shot from this big window nearly as easy. And if you want to, take your other Azami and throw it about right here. Now this gives you a little rat angle onto the trophy door and it's really hard for the attackers to hit you. The bullet holes go all the way back here as well as the attackers can't see your head unless they wind up going prone. It's very common for the attackers to take control of the back bunker as well as the back stairs. So use these three angles to watch the back stairs. Always have holes up here so that way you can contest it from here. Always put a hole here so that way you can contest it from here as well. This one's really good too. And my favorite one that I use 95% of the time is this one right here. This one allows you to contest it while still being covered from over here. And this one is by far the best one. Another thing that you can do while defending downstairs is if you want to, you can just throw in a zombie here. This will now give you a one-way angle to be able to see their legs before they even see you. And it's just a really good Azami to use. This one's really simple. Anytime you're attacking the upstairs bomb site, it's very common for defenders to sit behind this bunk bed. Especially in this corner because they're blocked from that door and this window is just like a nice little safe spot. All you have to do is come downstairs and either hop in here and do it or just break this window and prone right here. Cook a grenade and throw it right there. That will kill anybody that's on that little corner right there. It's free, I'm telling you, I do it every time. It's also very common for defenders to sit on this bomb chassis right here whenever they're defending the top floor because they like to get an angle onto the white stairs. All you have to do is come into this kitchen, cook a grenade, and throw it right here. After you do that, you will see that is exactly what the bomb chassis would be. Now, I'm out of grenades, but real quick, it goes for right here as well. A lot of people like to sit up here and kind of hold white or just sit in this corner. It's very common. Do that same exact thing except right above this door and to the left, you cook a grenade and you throw it right here and you'll kill anybody that's in this corner. Anytime you're defending upstairs, take Stolas and start doing this. So it's very common for attackers to repel up to this window and take control of armory. Same with repelling up top here onto this balcony and you know, just droning out master bedroom. So what I love to do is I love to take Solus and come downstairs and sit right in this corner. I'll have it on screen, but you can see me do this. I do this all the time. Like I see somebody outside, I can impact out get a kill on the guy repelling in. I can run out, impact this door, kill anybody outside. It's just really good doing it with Solus because you can kind of guarantee there's no Nomads Claymores. This one's really simple and you guys might even use it already, but whenever I'm roaming, what I love to do is roam in this general area. This is called the L hallway. And whenever anybody's pushing from small tower, which is very common, I love to hold this angle right about here. With this angle, it allows you to see all the way to the window back here. So you can see them all the way when they're back over here. Throw a zombie right over here, and what this will do is it will give you a nice little cover way for this hallway whenever you need to come and contest it. You can now be blocked, as well as if you play on this, you could peek from two different sides, so it's really helpful. Whenever you're defending the top floor, this is one of my favorite capcans to do, and that is to place inside this closet. 
You'd think it would be so stupid and no one's going to fall for that. But you would actually be lying because a lot of people, including myself, have fallen for this. This one is crazy because no one's looking at this. They're going to be so focused on anybody contesting them from this door that they're going to try and kind of run in here to get past this. This is another one I get a lot of kills on too because like, bro, like who the hell is droning this corner out? Like not many people. So if they're taking control of small tower, depending on what bomb site you're on, you could do it on really any of them because a lot of people go for small tower. They're just not going to see this. Like, no one is droning and looking right here. Do this on Outback, your KD will go crazy. Whenever you're attacking laundry, this wall is a main point of entry. But what you can do is you can come on this repel. And you can actually, like, repel and look through this drone hole. You can even destroy the red box right there. And you can see all the way onto the actual doorway itself over there. Literally, the doorway is right there. You can literally see if anyone crosses in between. You can see if anybody's in there. It's just a really good angle to use. Now, this is a very common run up for the attackers to walk up this ramp. As a defender, you can come into the office and stand on top of this. Now, if you make a hole right here, you could stand here and you can see when they go above the actual ramp and when they come up and you can get yourself a free kill. As you can see, if I'm coming up like this, I'm literally getting fried by anybody on that angle. It is crazy. Now, this angle is going to be crazy. I'm going to show you it with Buck. But on defense, you should probably take somebody that with two impacts and then like a revolver. And I think this would probably work best if you were defending top four. You're gonna make an impact hole right here. You're gonna make an impact hole right here. You're gonna shoot out a hole right here. And you're gonna shoot out a hole right here. Now doing this, it will allow you <laughs> to get an angle all the way onto that back door. As you can see, there's, these are all my bullet holes over here. So if you were to walk into here and you took a step this way, that is the angle all the way over there. Now, I don't know how likely you would probably use this, but, but just so that way you have it in your inventory to use if you ever want to. Whenever you're defending laundry, it's very common for defenders to sit back here. And what you can do is come into green room like this and either have somebody buck this out or just shoot it at yourself. Now, after you make a little hole right here, all you have to do is take a grenade, cook it, and throw it up like that. It will land right over here and kill anybody that's playing it in this corner. This would be perfect for a Buck and a Yana combo. Them two would be good together. You can make it go a lot quicker if you buck it out. But if not, you can just shoot this out with any gun. Whenever you're inside laundry, what you can do is you can impact this wall like this. And throw in a zombie somewhere on this wall as well. Now, what you can do is you can vault up top here, sit like this. And whenever you need to peek up to contest the wall or the bathroom, you can do that. This one's pretty common. I just really like this one because you can stay protected and peek out whenever you please. And you can even get a nice angle onto the actual window itself. Now, whenever you're defending downstairs in this bomb site, throw a zombie on this bed. Doing this will allow you to make a rotate right here if you want to, and then you can kind of have this to cover the rotate. And you can throw another zombie right here, and throw another zombie right here. Doing this, your rotate is completely covered, so you can rotate with ease without being shot from either doorways. And you can even use this to peek the door right here. And this one just allows you to have more cover whenever you want to contest this door. This entire floor for this top piano bomb site is pretty much destructible. So here are some grenade spots. If people sit right here, which they normally do, I made a hole so you could see it better, but all you would do is come downstairs, cook a grenade, and you are smoking anybody that's on that box right there. This is also a very common spot right here, right by the bomb chassis, just holding and sitting in here. So to get the person over here, the red room, look at this sun, look up. And that's going to kill anybody that is on that little cabinet. And so are these stalls to try and peek this window over here. Shoot a hole in the floor. I'm using sledge for a better example, so it's quicker. Hook your grenade like this. And boom, you are frying anybody that's holding that pixel peek on that window. Now, this isn't a tip, but this is more of a strat that I always love to do with frost. Anytime I'm on laundry, put a frost trap on this main window. Put a frost trap on shower window. And put a frost trap on games window. Place your shield right here. Reinforce the single wall. I have this wall to protect me and I can test the picnic side. If anybody's pushing games window, I have this little hole right here that I can peek if they get stuck in the frost mat. But the good thing about these frost mats is they cannot just hop in without anyone knowing. If they hop into any of these windows, they have to look down and shoot and make noise. So you're always going to be alert that somebody is contesting or hopping into a certain area. If they don't look down, they get smoked. If they do look down and shoot it, while they're looking down, I'm hearing them shoot and I could just swing them. It's just a very good little frost trap spot that I like to do or strat, but let me know what you think. So this one's gonna be with a zombie. What you're gonna do is you're gonna throw your a zombie right here. Now, after you throw your zombie right there, you're gonna get a vault prompt. Make sure you don't vault through this, just vault on top of it. You could back up and we could just you could throw another zombie right here. And then what this does is it gives you an angle all the way to that door, which is by the main stair area and you get free kills and they can't even see you. These are my bullet holes. They can see you from all the way back here and you can't even see them. 
<laughs> this is a crazy one, bro. Whenever you're defending karaoke and you're going to be watching into Geisha, come right here and make a little punch on these little black plastic pieces and they'll fall down. And you can actually get a great angle onto the rotate. To have a high success rate, don't make the rotate too big so that way they kind of have to funnel through the middle. I'll have it on screen, but literally I got two kills in one round from this spot, bro. It's, it's a crazy spot. If you ever want to go for a spawn peek, what you can actually do is it doesn't even need to be in this bomb site, just whenever. Make a punch hole right here. And what you could do is you could see the, on that door or on that gate right there. And it's very hard for the attackers to even see you. This is what it looks like to the attackers. There's the bullet hole or there's a punch hole right there. And it's really hard for them to even see it. So if they come around this corner, they're cooked. Whenever you're attacking this top floor bomb site, it's very common for defenders to sit right here as well as right about over here. Which is why what I love to do is let them come from below and take a nade and throw it right at this middle tile next to the lamp. And what you'll do is you'll get a free kill on anybody behind that bar. Same with right over here. If you throw a grenade and cook it right around here next to this lamp, you get a free kill on anyone in this area. Another great thing as well is if you're playing sledge, what you can do is you can actually come right here and you can sledgehammer the floor and you can see anyone behind this bar. Now obviously, yes, you could go buck, but if you want to bring grenades as well, you can do this. You can even stand all the way back here and get an angle onto the door and once again get anyone over here. Anytime you're defending this bomb site, obviously you'll have like an impact hole here or some sort of rotate, but I always have to come up here and shoot through this and get an angle onto the window. You can make it super close to the right if you want to and hold like a nice little tight angle like this, but it's a really good way to contest anybody outside. I do this one every single time and I'm a controller PC champion and it works just fine. This is what it looks like. Whenever you're attacking top stairs in T room, it's very common for defenders to sit right here and right here. This is called jail. Now come downstairs and throw a nade right here or right over here. Now I'm using buck for an example, just so it's easier so you can see it. That is right there. You could buck from below as well. And that is that corner right there. Throw a nade at either corner, wherever they are, and you'll get yourself a free kill. There usually be somebody sitting right here on the bomb chassis or just sitting right over here anywhere. If there's ever somebody on the bomb chassis, throw a grenade right here. What this will do is this will kill the person who's right on top of the bomb. And if they're ever sitting in that back corner by the rotate, that's about right over here. That's right there. The rotate that will usually be right in that corner. You're gonna have a free kill if you need it right here. Whenever you're playing up in T room, it's very common for people to try and enter in through below. But if you make a shotgun hole right here, you can see that bottom window in the bathroom and you can kill them if they try and enter in through it. Now this one will be for the lower ranked people. Uh, if you don't know this already, make sure you always make feed holes in here and right here. What this does is it doesn't allow the attackers to completely hold Geisha and be safe. As well as it allows you to, if you're going to be playing in Geisha, to kind of hold angles all the way into there. As well as to watch if anybody comes up these stairs. It's really, really good to do. Just make sure you always have these feed holes. It also helps roamers contest the window. There's the Geisha window. You could quite literally watch the Geisha window hop in or breach from all the way back here. Make sure you always do this. Start doing this on Stadium Bravo and your KD will go crazy. Whenever you're attacking the top floor and you open up this wall one of the best angles you can go on is repelling on this side right here doing this you'll be able to completely contest with anybody from sandwich you're going to contest anybody that comes from the small office and they'll probably have this right wall reinforced but the left one probably won't be and you could shoot through it and you can get angles all the way into the other bomb site as you can see there's the bullet holes you can be seen all the way from out there there's the angle whenever you're attacking kitchen if you want to go for a service push but people are playing back here if you shoot a hole in the floor like this and shoot your fire through it or smoke either or it will light up or the fire will spread all around here and you'll get anybody out of this area all right so this one's actually a silver strat i'm being so serious it will actually work if you place a c4 on this door right and you come over here you can see when they go to that door and you could blow it up i know this is such a stupid strat but i'm being so serious one nobody plays this map because it's banned 24 7 so people always forget about this stupid thing and two, it actually works. Like I, I know it sounds so stupid, but just trust me. I'll have on screen, you can see a champion doing it and it happening to him. It actually happens. Whenever you're defending the top floor, if you throw one a zombie right about here, it'll allow you to contest this actual door without being seen and gives you a nice angle onto their feet. It'll give you a nice angle onto this hallway as you can see all the way down here and they can barely see you. Throwing a zombie like this, as this will stop you from being able to get shot out from this window right here when people wanna hop in and spray open this window. But you can still contest it from here as well as throw a C4 right over this thing as well and save a reinforcement, but you're safe to play right here. As well as I like to throw on a zombie about like right over here. So that way I can play behind the half wall like this. But if you wanna play right here, 
will allow you to contest the angle from back here, right here. If anyone's ever playing behind half wall, you can come out to this window and place your fuse charge at the top left corner of this. It being right there allows the person to fuse this and even if they're sitting right here, they're cooked. Use these three Valkrams whenever you're defending downstairs. Throw one right here. Throw one right here. Like that. This one allows you to see into master bedroom like this. This one allows you to see the bathroom door and if anybody's in this main lobby area. And this one allows you to see if they enter into service. So if you unfortunately get this map in ranked and you're attacking top floor, people may sit here and try and bandit trick this right here. They'll probably have an ADS somewhere over here so you can't just like nade out the corner. So simply come from below like this and either throw a nade right here or take Capitao, shoot a hole in the floor like this and then shoot your firebolt through this. You'll get anybody that is banner tricking off that area so that way you can then open the wall. I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. I have been not doing this and pushing this off because I don't play this map. So I don't have too many crazy tips. Every angle and spot that I use on theme park in Champion Elo. Whenever you're attacking Armory, it's very common for defenders to sit right here to try and contest the split door. So come over here and make a hole in the wall or play sledge and take your nade and you can actually cook it over this like that and boom literally if they're anywhere in this corner over here they will get fried by this grenade whenever you're defending downstairs and throne it's very common for attackers to take control of what is called the gong room you can actually come up into bathroom and lay down prone in this drone hole if you shoot open this drone hole right here on the floor, you can actually see anybody into gong room and when they enter in. And you can see a good amount right here, honestly. You can see all right here and even the door down right there. As you can see, these are my bullet holes all over here. You can literally see them when they come right over here. And this is fairly common for attackers to walk through here. It's not like it's an uncommon area. And you can see them when they exit the door as well. It's very hard to contest. There's the hole. Use these three Valcams for an initiation room defense. One right here, one right here, and one right here. This one allows you to see into waiting room, the hallway, dragon, and all around here. This one allows you to see all the way into control room while still having a pretty hidden cam. And this one allows you to see all the way up arcade stairs and if anybody's going back for a bunk push. And you can just hear with this one really well in this area. And look at that, it gets hidden in the actual light, so it's really hard to even see. Anytime I'm defending the daycare bomb site, it's very common for attackers to take control of cafe. And if I ever notice they do, this is what I start to do. If you come all the way to these arcade stairs here, what you can actually do is you can get a nice little pixel angle onto the cafe door. And you can see if anybody crosses in as well as you can see if they push out or try and peek you. I've actually gotten a decent amount of kills off this angle. It's a really good angle. As you can see, that is my bullet right there. And that's the angle right there. You can literally barely even see it, but you'll fry anybody when they walk out this way as well. If you ever want to go for a spawn peek, do this. Come on top of here and sprint onto the windowsill. Now when you're up here, this allows you to see all the way into the spawn that way and all the way into the spawn that way. It's a really good spot to sit in and you're literally completely standing up. So it's just really nice. Anytime defending the top bunk bomb site, it's very common for attackers to kind of come into this hallway and contest over here. So I always love to make little punch holes back here. But what I love to do to kind of hide it more is I shoot out a little part of the actual wall so that way the little wooden parts are showing. And then I find out where the wooden part is and I make a punch hole on the wooden part itself. So that way from here, it doesn't look nearly as easy to see compared to a regular punch hole that I feel like you could definitely see more. You're not really going to be able to see mine nearly as easy because of that little wooden part. And this one I can see perfectly out of as well. Anytime you're attacking this bomb site over here, it's very common that this would be reinforced and banded it off. So if you come into here and you place your thermite charge right here and then blow it up, it will blow up this side of the wall even if it's reinforced. Now, what defenders will do is they'll come out here and throw an impact right here. But even if they impact it, if there's still a little bit of a sliver on this wall, you can still place your thermite on it and still open it up. So for the defenders, make sure you shotgun this entire part out so that they can't do that. This one's simple and this is one that I love. Anytime I'm pushing up top towards initiation and I'm coming through cafe, I always love to lay prone right here because you can actually see people through the stronghold. This is a very common rotate, so you will always catch people walking in between here and even coming from this corner right here and walking, and I always tend to get a kill on it. On the rare chance that Cade is not banned, if you want to have an invincible Cade, do this. Throw one K charge up over here and throw another K charge right over here. Now, this will be invincible from anybody going from above. They cannot get this. However, if you do that trick that I mentioned earlier with the grenade over this, from the angle into here, the grenade lands right over here and it will take out this cade. I'm just saying. As I mentioned, it's very common for attackers to push into cafe. So this one's very simple, quite literally just throw C4 here and boom, 
you blow up anybody that's actually in that corner. This one's old, but still works. Another really good C4 spot, it's very common for attackers to jump down from this hatch and land right there, as well as even sit in this corner right here. So something that you can do is you can come downstairs and place a pre-placed right here. That is the window. So if you throw C4 right here, that will take out anyone on that window or behind that little piece right there. And if you throw your C4 right over here, listen for someone to drop and then boom, you'll get the free kill. Like I said, you can either put it right there or right here because sometimes they'll jump down and sprint over here. So sometimes it's better to put it over here, but it's really up to you. One of my favorite spots on Villa is this little astronomy globe. Now I'm going to have a bunch of tips in this video as well. I'm a controller PC champion, blah, blah, blah. There's the intro. But this is my favorite one, okay? So what I love to do is I love to sit on here and I shoot the telescope, make sure the globe is not shot out, and I do a vault animation. And what you can do is you can vault on top of this little thing right here. I learned this from the Dangleberries on YouTube. And what I love to do as a defender is I have to play mute and you can mute this off and mute off the stairs and mute off everywhere else. And you sit up here with a shotgun and you get a free kill. If you're ever attacking this bomb site and you notice a lot of people sit right here with a shield, just start doing this. Come downstairs and cook a grenade right here, right above this little dresser and even if you miss it will land on top of the dresser and you'll kill the guy right behind it also if you do struggle with grenade tips or throwing grenades i just posted a video how to perfect the grenade throw as well as how long it takes and how you can practice it so go check it out whenever you're attacking upstairs come to this drone hole and peek through here i promise you you are going to most likely get a free kill because a lot of people love to sit right here and what you can also do is you can even shoot this out if somebody is there and you'll still hit them the reason why this is so common is people love to sit on this angle and hold this to watch into bedroom or they might have holes in the wall and watch it like this and they don't realize that there's literally a drone hole right there anytime you're attacking an aviator games bomb site a lot of people like to play a mirror here or they like to play behind this bar just start doing this come down here look up look left this is directly behind the bar there's the bomb site behind the bar right here cook a grenade, throw it right here, and get yourself a free kill. That is anybody that's playing behind the bar. And same with right here, this is anybody that would be on that mirror wall. I, not many people play a mirror there, but if they do, throw it right here. If anyone in vault, you could even take a buck and do this. Come right here, this is that little crate on vault that they love to sit in to peek the main hallway door. Just cook a grenade like this, and throw it right there, and you'll kill anybody that is in vault. Anytime you're attacking pantry, I love to come right here, shoot through this right here, and what this will do is it will allow you to see anybody on the table or anybody anywhere inside there. And you can contest them and peek them all the way from outside of here. And it's just a free kill. Start doing this. Anytime you're, anytime you're playing trophy and statue, come right here and make sure you make a line right in this wall. Now, the reason why I love to do this is because I can hold the doorway from right here, which is a good angle. As well as if they come in through here, I can hold an angle from here and contest both doors without actually being seen or kind of being in the main line of cover. Hopefully this did help and follow for more tips as well as tag your duo as well.